So I'm sitting there, right? And I'm watching this dude pull off some gnarly moves on his skateboard. And he's killing it. I mean, he's doing some seriously rad stuff. And just when I thought it couldn't get any more righteous, he goes to the top of this huge hill. And he starts to bomb it. I mean, he's carving in and out. And he's catching some mad speed. And out of nowhere, this dog runs out straight in front of him. And he crashes straight into it. Next thing I know, people are running over to him, crowding around him, and he's making all sorts of weird noises, man. And then I hear someone yell, So that's exactly what I did, man. I pulled out my phone and I dialed 911. And next thing I know, the ambulance is coming. And when they get there, they start loading the dude in, and they tell me to get in too so I could tell them what happened on the way to the hospital. So we're speeding through traffic and they're asking me all sorts of questions about what happened but I couldn't hardly hear them over the sounds of the sirens. Anyway, we finally get to the hospital, right? And they're rushing them off the ambulance and into the hospital and then I've got to sit around and answer even more questions about what happened. After about two hours they asked me if I wanted to go into his room to see him and I'm like, I mean, I barely know the dude but sure, why not? So they take me to his room and they leave me alone with this dude. And he's laying there unconscious, hooked up to all these machines. And I'm just standing there with this perfect stranger, not really knowing what to say or what to do. So I just stand there in the silence for a few minutes. And then all of a sudden... Bro, I'm not even lying. Homie dies right there in front of me. So yeah, now I'm supposed to go give a speech at his funeral tomorrow. And I didn't even know the guy.